What it do? Bedtime crew. Hey man, listen, today I am starting off my UFC 300 predictions for all the big fights on the card that I care about. So next week, Holly Holm, Kayla Harrison, I'm going to be doing a 30 minute breakdown, but all jokes aside, I had to talk about this fight, dude. I've been thinking about it. I've been going, bro, am I going to win this fight against Armin Sarukian? And guys, I got to be honest. I don't think I'm going to beat him, dude. I think Armin Sarukian is him at lightweight. I think he is not like Fiziev. He's not like fucking Benoit St. Denis. He's not like Gamrot getting fraud checked, okay? I think Armin Sarukian is going to pass this test with flying colors, dude. And I know people don't like to hear that. The Charles Glazers are going fucking crazy right now. But I just got to be real, dude. I just got to, you know, just say what, I, what I'm feeling, that gut feeling that I have. Um, that feeling is in my gut, like a stomach ache. Trust, all right. I gotta, I gotta be real. I think Armin Sarukian's gonna fucking knock out Charles Oliveira, dude. And I'm gonna talk about why I think that's gonna happen. I'm gonna talk about the comparison between these two, um, fighting Benil Dariush. What I think about all this stuff going around the fight, and I'm gonna give you my detailed prediction of how I think the fight's gonna go. So starting off straight away. People talk about this fight and they're like, oh, Charles Oliveira, you know, Armin Saruki, he beat Benio Darius because Charles did it first and Charles cracked his chin. Okay, that's not really how fighting fucking works, dude. But, you know, it is what it is. I just got to be honest. I feel like the Charles performance gets glazed and the Armin Sarukian performance, people act like it didn't happen. They're just like, oh, anyways, um, no, he's still a fraud. He still get fraud checked because he got hit by a, uh, Joaquin Silva once. If you are watching this fight and you're going to pick Charles because you're clinging to one punch from Joaquin Silva, bro, like, obviously that's worrying, but dude, that's the only shot you can find in a three-round fight where he did get rocked, but immediately took him down and finished him the next round and won the rest of the fight striking, wrestling, d using defense. People thought he got robbed against Gamrod as well. People, it's so funny. One thing I do want to say about this, dude. You know, when they want to pick Sarukian, then it's conveniently, oh, he he actually beat Gamrot. It was a robbery, dude. He beat Gamrot, right? Now that they want to pick Charles, um, he actually lost to Gamrot, bro. How's he going to beat Charles? Dude, shut the fuck up, dude. You know exactly what you're doing. They do this all the fucking time. So that's the first thing I want to talk about, dude. If, we're, if, if you're picking Charles Oliveira based on one punch from Joaquin Silva in a fight where he got finished dominantly right after that, I think you may be cooked, brother. And I feel like losing a fight against Gamrot in a scramble-heavy, grappling-heavy fight that went five rounds, you know, doesn't really paint the picture to me that he's going to gas out mainly striking with Charles Oliveira, in my opinion. And when they do grapple, it's not going to be scrambles of the wrestling kind. That's not really what Charles does. So I think it's fair to say that you can't really count on one good punch from Charles Oliveira to win this fight the way that Joaquin Silva caught him. Because it didn't even win Silva that fight, dude. That's like the only good moment he had. And when we're talking about the, the improvements that Charles has made, the, the people that think Charles can beat Islam, I, I hate to sound like a hater, dude. But I feel like one today. I just got to be fucking real, bro. People that think he's actually going to beat Islam and think he's going to smoke Sarukian. Where, what, what changed from Islam fight to the Dariush fight? What changed? Please tell me what changed. He's exactly the fucking same. He's just as good as he was already. He didn't get better. He's exactly as good as he was. He's already great. He's a great fucking champion. He, he, like, nothing changed, dude. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? He didn't really show a, a, an improvement in his defense. He strikes exactly the same. That's how Charles Oliveira fights. And he fought how he fights. Like, I, I, don't, I don't understand. At least with Saruki, and when I'm thinking about this, we're seeing drastic improvements between his wins because he's younger. You know, the silver fight goes three rounds. Other fights, he goes longer for a finish. This fight, he just fucking one-shot KOs Dariush. Even Charles didn't do that. And his grappling has always been there. We've seen it from day one in the UFC. You've seen that he now knows how to really find a finish on the ground. Usually, he was just controlling. He went through a phase where they were like, bro, you're not getting big fights because you're not finishing anybody. Now, we're seeing finishes. Now we're seeing an improvement in the striking. Now we're seeing more kicks. Now we're seeing better defense. I feel like you can really point to improvements in Sarukian that you're not seeing in Charles Oliveira. And the numbers are there to back it up, dude. The numbers are there to back it up. Charles Oliveira, 
strikes landed, strikes absorbed, about the fucking same, right? Takedown defense, 56%, bro. Come on, man. Come on, dog. Look at Sarukian over here, bro. Look at my boy Sarukian, dude. 75% takedown defense. I'm going to come back to that later. This is the number that I really care about over here. Strikes landed versus stripes, strikes absorbed. Whenever I point to these statistics, when I'm making a video about a fight, it usually goes the way I'm talking about, dude. And I feel like the defense of Sarukian has improved. You, you're counting on a lucky shot, essentially, if you're going off that silver fight. But if you're not, then you're probably a reasonable person that's thinking, well, Charles Oliveira is going to rock him at some point. He's going to pressure him and he's going to get a, you know, a submission when Armin shoots a bad takedown. or He's going to crack him with a head kick. He's going to follow up. And I can see that happening. That's definitely how Charles wins. Is rocking Armin. Armin shoots a takedown. Charles jumps on his neck, chokes him out. Or he spins to the back, chokes him out, right? Um, but one thing I like for Armin in this matchup is his strength, dude. I saw him getting really strong underhooks on Silva. He looked big against Dariush as well. I feel like he's going to have strength added on to the fact that he's already a technically very talented wrestler and grappler. We've seen it from day one in the UFC. And honestly, I think this fight comes down to damage. I think this fight comes down to damage, striking and grappling. And when I think about Charles's damage, he probably, I don't know, dude. I don't know. I want to say, I was going to say Charles hits harder. But dude, Sarukian one-shot KO Dariush. You don't go from ground and pound TKO to one-shot KO in one fight. That, that's, that doesn't happen. That doesn't fucking happen for the most part, right? Because Dariush has already been put out. It's not like he had this iron fucking chin and Charles cracked him. We've seen him get murdered by Edson Barboza. So it is possible to one-shot KO him. Charles didn't. Armin did. Take that as you, as you want, right? The biggest thing I'm talking about with damage is not only who dishes out more, who has more one-shot KO power, who's wearing more damage in these fights? Charles Oliveira is literally already cut going into the fight. Have you guys seen this photo? He already has a cut, dude. He's already got a fucking cut, dude. Someone needs to sign this dude's training part. I swear to God, if it's fucking Ian Gary or if it's some fucking rando, like if it's Mateus Mendonca that keeps cutting him in training, I swear to God, dude, you're cooked. Um, but dude, I'm, I'm being serious about the cuts of Oliveira. He's taken a lot of damage in his fights. I can see Sarukian opening one of those cuts with an elbow. Um, even standing up with like a grazing kind of punch, I can really see that those cuts opening up on Oliver and having a big effect on him psychologically as well as on scoring the fight, right? Because in the grappling, I do trust the strength and the skills of Armin to not get submitted immediately. If he gets submitted immediately, well, you know, it is what it is. Charles is just that much better than Islam, but I don't see that happening. What I think is going to happen is round one, they're going to move around a little bit. Charles is going to be kicking a lot. He's going to be kicking to the body, kicking to the head, kicking the legs. And then I think Armin's going to blast him with like a big right hand or, you know, crash into him with some punches and they're going to clinch. And I think Charles is going to be kneeing the body in the clinch and then he's going to try and pull Armin down into his guard. If Charles pulls guard in this fight, the way that he did against Dariush, I think he did it against Poirier as well. I know he did it against Gaethje. He did it against uh, Islam as well. I don't think Armin's going to try and pass his guard, dude. I don't think Armin's going to just shoot straight back up like Gaethje did. I really think Armin's going to elbow the fuck out of him if he, if he pulls guard. I think Armin's going to elbow his face open, dude. Even like little hammer fists, I think he's more accurate with his ground and pound than, than Dariush. We've seen already the numbers of how many strikes he dishes out versus how many he absorbs. He is a decently accurate striker on the ground as well. And I think the fight's going to kind of stall out. At that point, so round one would end with, you know, decent striking from Charles. He pulls guard, Armin dishes out some nasty elbows. Maybe he cuts open Charles to finish the round. I think this is going to go to the second round, but if it ends in round one, I'm feeling like Armin is going to catch him with a big shot as he's getting back up. Like, they're going to scramble a bit. Charles will look for a submission. They stand back up. Armin just blasts him with the right hand, sits him down, follows up like that. But honestly, I think round two, they're just going to be chilling come back out, and then Armin's going to drop him with a big left hook or a big right hand. And I really see this being similar to the Islam loss. I see this being really similar to the Islam fight, where I just feel like Armin Sarukian, the damage that he dishes out now, right, compared to his last fights, he could be, you know, have really found his, 
his frame being quite a young guy, his takedown defense, I really like that for him. Charles Oliveira, the strikes absorbed. You, you see him get knocked down every single fight, dude. I feel like Char Armin is going to drop him at some point badly enough. And instead of going up for a submission, he is more of a ground and pound type of guy. I think he's going to drop Charles and just follow up with elbows and just finish him, dude. I think we're going to see Charles Oliveira get ground and pound TKO'd round two, early round two, maybe late round one. But uh, yeah, I just had to make this video. And honestly, I think if anybody's going to beat Islam, it will be Sarukian. That's the last thing I want to say about this. That's why the title of this video is he's next up or he's him at lightweight. This ain't fucking Benoit St. Denis, dude. He's been through the fire, bro. He has been tested against good competition. He has fought Benil Dariush. That's better than anybody Benoit ever fought, dude. Same with Fiziev, bro. I feel like this is not a fight where we're going to see the young guy get fraud checked. He hasn't proven anything. He has fought up the rankings. He has fought ranked opposition. That has been there for some time. That was on a good run. Okay, you can say what you want about the difference between Charles fighting him and Armin fighting him. Maybe that damage did have an effect on his chin, but that doesn't take away the fact that he smoked Dariush, right? Dariush was a guy that me, you, most fucking people thought was going to beat Charles, thought could beat Islam. That has to count for something. That has to count for something, dude. And I think we've already seen Armin Sarukian be able to hang with Islam early on in his career. Both have improved, but Armin has come a long way too. It's not like Armin's been relying on that one win like a lot of guys do. He has improved his striking. His defense is quite good. He doesn't get hit as much as Charles. He packs a decently similar punch. Some people would say he hits harder. I'm not going to make that point outright, but you know, you could make that argument. And I just feel like Charles has taken so much damage. His style hasn't changed enough to where I think he will get this done. If he tries to wrestle, I don't think it'll work for him. And yeah, my final prediction, round two or round one TKO for Armin, ground and pound, drops Charles, follows up, just pummels the legs to the side, beats the shit out of him. And yeah, really, really sad to say, but yeah, my boy, Bigger Dubronx, I biggest champion, I thank you so much. I don't think he's getting this one done, but let me know your thoughts down below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Make sure we're really civil in the comments, guys, as all MMA fans always are, guys. We're always so friendly to each other, so let's keep up the positivity in the comments, guys. Um, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel because every week I'm going to be doing UFC 300 prediction videos uh, for big fights as well as card builders, tier lists, all that stuff. So subscribe for all that stuff and go follow me on Instagram at BedtimeMMA for my predictions for this weekend's fights. I will see you in the next video, boys. Goodbye.